and good morning. What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. This is a, a first for me. I'm doing some daily vlogs now and just gonna show you guys a day in the life of what it's like to, to just be you. Join me. <laughs> just join me. Yeah, it's a little awkward for me. So, it's like, you know, the first time I'm doing this, so bear with me. We're gonna I'm, do it together. Yeah, super excited. Woo! And for those of you that don't know, this is my boy Lori. Came here all the way from Australia just to help document this whole series and uh, couldn't be more thankful for him. So you want to say hello and I'm introduce yourself? I'm excited to be yeah. here. There you go. It's going to be good. It's going to be a fun journey. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to tell the viewers? I live in this little place here. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is my den. Yeah. Yeah, I literally just arrived in LA maybe a few days ago and every day it's been sunshine and like beautiful sky. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Kind of exploring it more with you guys. Stoked to have you. What is the plan today, my friend? Okay, so I guess the plan is we're gonna get outside, I'm gonna go to the gym, just like always, and then later we're gonna go do an interview uh, with my friend Gianna. It's like 5 a.m. and these guys were like yelling like, I don't know, they were having some scuffle in the street. We had the windows open and they were like literally outside and they were like, <laughs> get out of the car, fight me. Actually? Like, Dude, it's too early for that. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Um, I slept okay until like, I don't know, our neighbors or somebody was like fighting outside and that woke yeah. me up, but... You want to introduce yourself to my channel? Um, okay, well, if you don't already know me, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hi, I'm Bianca, Nimai's girlfriend and roommate and business partner and best friend. And soulmate. <laughs> and soulmate. Uh. <laughs> artist in some way and they're either like some kind of spiritual healer or yoga instructor or something to do with fitness or art or cuisine it's it's just a beautiful place and i freaking love it he's training for something oh like stuff like that yeah like stuff like that <laughs> you know arnold's on the wall like you can't get more motivating than that you know, Venice is filled with like million dollar homes and condos, and then you have another large populations of homeless people. So it's a lot of perspective to say the least. Amazing parking job, as always. <laughs> They're kind of strict about filming and you normally have to get a day pass approved and whatnot. So I'm just gonna go in there solo, knock my workout out, vlog a little bit for you guys. All right, kill it, mate. All right, Enjoy. Bro. Thank you. See ya. Okay, <laughs> enough of pretending to skate. Let's go watch some real skateboarders. All right, so now I'm just doing cardio. Uh, to be honest, I really like doing cardio before my lifts just because it allows me to get on my phone, get some work done, make some Instagram posts. Uh, this is pretty much where I do a lot of work and just kind of we're taking advantage of being a little bit of multitasking. So after this, I'm gonna go do a back workout. Nothing really crazy serious. My training has been a little bit more relaxed the last year, just because I'm not really focused on competing anymore. I just wanna stay healthy, remain agile, flexible, and uh, yeah, goals are always changing. And I think it's important to also evolve and not feel so restricted to maintaining a certain image. So yeah, I'm excited for this, just to get back into the groove of things and start hitting the gym again and this gym is incredibly inspiring and motivating so let's do this okay so i was gonna do back and then uh turns out this dude showed up hey what up to chris also fellow vegan bodybuilder for a while now but uh instead of doing back we're gonna do some legs oh, yeah. so this guy always pushes me to do legs <laughs> i need it How was it? All right, it's 
switching cameras, <laughs> switching gears. No, it's good. I yeah? buddy Chris in there, he showed up. We did a set of back. We ended up doing legs together. So it's gonna be fun longboarding after leg day. This is like the best part of like living here in, in Venice and stuff is we got things like this, like this fruit stand. Hey, what's up, brother? Hey. Y lo de todo. Oh. Awesome. Yo, if you don't know about tajin, now you know. Shit is so good. Like what made me decide to go vegan? Yeah. It's such an odd story actually because I'm like really into reggae music. Uh, so yeah. like my favorite reggae artist Chronix was just promoting a vegan diet and, and he just kind of spoke on like that energy that you're putting into your body with uh you know with animal products and how if you cut that out you might you know you might lessen your anxiety, you might lessen your health issues just based off of that negative energy. So much respect man. Thanks brother. I, I love it. That. The once vegans you, everywhere. <laughs> once you know, you cannot unknow. Yeah, your mind, <clears throat> your thoughts and your actions are so tightly connected that one influences the other. So naturally, if you change the act of eating, your thoughts about eating will eventually change as well. So simply by reducing or eliminating animal products from your diet, you become more conscious and understand that you don't need those foods to survive. <laughs> If you stand on the wheel, because if you're going back, sometimes the board is too loose, yeah. or you get wheel bite. Yeah, and, wobbly. Yeah, no, the, the, the board will hit the wheel. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. It's a big crystal. Yeah. You think that's real? Well, that's huge. <laughs> This looks good, man. Yeah. What? Excited. And can I make it all vegan? Yeah. Uh, it's like a fajita bowl. So it's got rice, beans, some grilled veggies, carrots, some vegan cheese, pico, guac, and some adobo tofu. Now we are going to my friend Gianna's house, and she's an actress, but she also is a host for a series, and she's essentially interviewing different high-profile vegan doctors and some athletes now. So she reached out to me, asked me if I wanted to be on. I said, sure, this kind of stuff happens all the time and I really like just putting myself out there and just helping spread the message however I can. And I think if it ends up on Amazon, then yeah, it's reaching a lot of people. So we'll see what she says. I have no idea what this interview is gonna be about, but that's like how most of them are. You just kind of take the punches as they come and Hope you do your best. All right, everybody. So this is Gianna. This is her wonderful place that she invited me to, and uh, we're gonna do this interview. So why don't you let them know a little bit more about your project and what you're working on? Yeah. So we're working on a series on Amazon Prime. Yeah. I love them so much, and they are literally changing this world. As are you, um, you guys, and and the athletes that we're shooting for season two. Um, so that's so the what first we have. one was doctors, and now this yes. one's athletes. And now this one's athletes. Very yes, cool. we're in, we're, in, see, we're shooting season two, but season one is still on Amazon Prime. So you guys should check it out. It's called Love Gianna, and um, yeah, it's all about the vegan lifestyle and saving this planet and saving the animals and saving our health. Awesome, I love yeah. it. So stay tuned for that, and yes. uh, hopefully our episode will be up sometime soon. Yeah, probably okay. in the next several months. Awesome. What's up, man? Nima. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Just born. <laughs> you are the first ever vegan IFBB men's physique pro in history. You have never eaten meat in your life, and you were featured on the cover of Muscle and Fitness this past year. You are in the new movie, The Game Changers, and you are a huge influencer on social media and run veganfitness.com and the podcast Generation V. So you're quite busy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited to get into your story um, because I think you're super inspirational. The benefits of meatless muscle. I think my ultimate goal is to just continue to try my best to make the world a better place because I really feel like the work that we're doing and the work that you're doing and the yeah. work that so many of our peers are doing is, it, it's, it's creating a global shift. <laughs> Called so we got some fresh rolls. What did you get, Lori? Pad to you, I think. All right, should we dig in? Yeah. Let's should we in. say goodnight to the vlog? Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're gonna finish eating dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. This is like the first of many to come, and uh, stay tuned. We're gonna do some really fun things in the future.